one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, doing the Infiniti Q45. I love the ass end of these cars. Just kind of looks like a looks like a Chevy Impala and a Bentley had made love and made a baby. Okay, look at these stinking floor mats. Ick! Big time. Here's an up close for you. And I'm gonna do a way to clean these floor mats that most people would never attempt on floor mats. And actually, when I look at the coloring of these floor mats, it tells me that this is kind of a pewter green on this car because they got a light seafoam tint to them, especially on the things that go around them. So I'm gonna put a couple videos together here and we're gonna get these things cleaned up. I'm just putting reader outside to go and take a sun bath. Look at what's gone. Well, it's not really gone. Hopefully you've seen the, the dumbass I had to deal with with it. Uh, I sure hope that works. Yeah. Looks good for my house. Now I need to get Hector his battery back. But this thing will be out of here. I had a problem with the transporter. Which one is it? Yeah, supercharged. Supercharger? Yeah. I just, I, I had two of those and they're both five speed supercharged. I had to stop driving the blue one because I'm going to get a ticket in it. It's a little easier when it's a automatic not to do that. So did you hit it all up? Oh yeah. oh yeah, dude. Night and day difference back here even. Yeah, this absolutely looks brand new in the back. I have to take a step back and look at it. I'm going to hit this too. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, just anything that needs wiped down, I think we pretty much just... I got the center console thing. Oh, that's alright. Um, did you, abs did you actually scrub the center console? Mm -hmm. The center console needs to be done again? Maybe it had um, too much grease on the rag by that time. Oh, okay. And the edge of the seat right there. Okay. You want to check the passenger seat too? It looked pretty good. Maybe that's front lip. Yeah, I don't think he really carried a passenger. Just on the corner right here, there's a little piece. Just, just a little oh, piece right there and kind of right in the middle. You'll see, you know, and it's it's almost like I'm being picky and yucky. And But the thing is, when you take the picture, guess what shows up? Yeah. That right there. Okay, hey, I'm going to record this one more time to throw in somewhere. This is a pet peeve of mine. Anytime you're doing a car that has nice miles and stuff and has nowhere on the pedals, there's just not a snowball's chance in hell that you shouldn't brush it down and get everything out of the wheel. I mean, out of the, the grooves and everything to where it looks as nice as it actually is. It's a definite improvement and it shows up when you take your pictures and you look at it and you see Dirt on a brake pedal. Um, I always put a lot of extra stuff and let it sit there. It's not just the pedals, it's this thing. There's no way that something like that should not be brushed out, and you cannot get this kind of junk with a rag. It just doesn't work. So, just another tip for detailing take the time. Make it look good, and the pedals will add a lot, and you'll get more value out of your car just by doing these pedals, guaranteed. With you, and I'm going to do these floor mats. First step you do. Did you pull the choke? Did you turn it on? Okay. Floor mats. Unchoke, unchoke. Just push the. Right? 
Okay. Well, for the choke, that'll choke it. That'll unchoke it. So that'll help you start it easier. Just pull that out when you start it. Okay. Okay, check us out. Okay, so here we go. Get them wet to start off with. And give them one pass like this. Keep the same distance away. In other words, if you're doing it that far, stay there. Don't get like this and like that, or it could change it a lot. Okay, so we got that. We got regular old soapy water. It seems like there's enough soap in that to do I don't know what. It seems like the guy's a laundry detergent salesman or something. Little soapy stuff. Um, can we get our interior brush that we were using? And I like to put a little degreaser on it also just to get it going on. And then get yourself a nice, good brush. And just get in there and really give it everything you can one way, in other words, up and down, top to bottom, etc. And try and do it with some kind of a method to where you remember where you've been. And then And I would say make sure you get all your soap out, but I don't know if I'll ever get all the soap out of this. From there you can kind of give it a couple crossy crossies, and you just want to pick the fibers of the carpet up every which way you can, making sure to clean them. And from there we're going to rinse this out. While it is like this, I'm going to give it the big old smoothie round and round too, and I'll tell you, 90% sure I've got pretty much every which way you can imagine on this. I like to give them a little bit of greaser before I clean them off again. And that's that. We do have an awful lot of soap in here. And a power washer will cut your toe open and make you bleed all over in three days. Just so you know. When I say three days, you probably won't bleed for three days. You just pour water out of the hole. And it's better to go straight up and down than at an angle. I was being lazy. And there are certain things that you're never going to fix. Got a little bit of a rub in it. Take care of your piping. Oh, sorry. And I'm thinking that is pretty much me done with this one. Make sure you get an early enough start in the day where you can dry them out, because there ain't nothing worse than musty, yucky format. I'll clip more in a while here. Okay, I got him doing the other format. He's a good kid. He's attentive and seems to be on track and doing it, doing it. Have I really got the balls to use cheap 99 cent 
clear coat on my infinity. It's okay, breeder. I don't know where my other spray paint is. I've got more. I'm going to be looking. Talk to you in a minute. It's good to me, man. Oh, yeah, that was brand new. What the stones it really does. I mean, come on. I'll bet you, honestly, I think there's a lot. If people would just detail their cars, they probably would have never sold them. <laughs> okay, shut that off if you would. Okay, we're just gonna tape this up and do it to it. Okay, this can be done really nicely, but we're just gonna do it really quickly. And I don't have much battery, but I'm going to make a video here in a Okay, I got Albert here. It'll take me a week or two to remember his name, I'll bet. But we're doing it to it. I think it worked out okay. We'll see here. Don't let that rag touch the ground. Don't put it back in the bucket now. After it rubs all over the ground, watch out. Here. Let's put this on a bit and wring it out. Okay. Just watch that, it'll pick up rocks and... Let me get the other side a bit. Yeehaw. Okay, I'm gonna kinda... Spray that other yep, go for it. Let me change this. Like I say, always this one, it's that middle one, that middle of the three smalls. Okay. Don't leave these things sitting around on the ground. Okay. Um, do that, um, change it to the white fan. White fan would be that one. That one? This one. Now try and shoot it. Okay, so I'm gonna make a video of this real quick. God dang it. I'm gonna make a video of this real quick. Um, my main thing is I have to leave one of my phones inside to even be able to explain something and start going over it. So 
I try and explain it as thoroughly, thoroughly as I can on something, and then I'm going to pop away, go do what I can to get my stuff ready to get out of here and come back on. I would like some way for you to even, after a few of these, be able to put something like this down into a manual for me. Like, like write a description as to what of you're the process. Yes, to where I can give away a free ebook to people that would like. Um, we're detailing their car and stuff. Different. I get so many people asking. It's just actually documenting the process, and then I'll show so many people how to do it. But like that was me showing you the wheels. And now next time I'm gonna be like, come on, dude, he's got a over it. I'm just gonna. And I also, that's I, I, I'm pretty emotional with my voice, and I'm not being an asshole. That's how I talk, and I'm just ah all the time. Trust me, I went through it. You heard a lot. <laughs> I, went, I went through just about every single. Uh, cuss word, name, everything. Well, I don't go that far, but if things get to get in the heat of the middle, I'll be like, come on, bring that thing over here. So I'm not screaming at somebody. I'm just trying to be heard over trucks and stuff, and I can't hear well anyways. Okay, once this thing's going, hang on a sec. Okay, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and I got the new Infinity in. Yeah, buddy. Nice Q45. Albert's here, and he's going to be working. And I really think he's going to work out pretty good. The guy's um, on the track here. We've only been working for about 15 minutes, but it looks good. So, motors. I'm going to do another quick video on motors. I get everybody saying, you, can, you can't get your motor wet. Don't get your motor wet. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Uh, but this is how I do it. All the details are the same. As long as you're careful, this is the quickest, best, easiest, and even one of the safest ways to get this to work. Let it warm up for 10 minutes. Pay attention to all this, by the way. You want to get all this at the same time to where you don't get it all over the windshield later. And this works as a double thing for me. I'm able to show Albert what I want and at the same time make another video on the car and put it up and people seem to like to see what's coming up. That's coming up. That's what's coming up. Okay, so first off, just get it all wet. And you can tell there is something on it, so they have maybe sprayed something on it before. For sure. And I'm going to strip all that off. Once you get it wet, now get it in a little bit. Just be as careful of all the connectors everywhere. Don't spray anything right on it. Blow over it, just real quick. Same to do with any of this stuff. No big deal doing that. Don't blow directly into it and don't get too close. Or yes, you'll cut wires and you'll have a problem with your car starting. Around oil caps, as long as they're tight, ain't no problem. Don't smack the side of your car with your wand. And watch out for taped areas like that which may be an indication that you can get something wet that you don't want to get wet. However, there is some stuff on there. So I will be hitting that with a brush really good. Okay. Now hopefully I'll be able to get this up for sale on my website in the next couple weeks since I've got some help on all kinds of different things. From this point, having brushes there should be one more flat brush, maybe with a handle like this, somewhere in between there. Oh, you know what? Right there by the, um, right there, the big one. Get it all sprayed down, man. Get this stuff all over it and let it soak in a little bit. Spraying it all over the black rubber, the windshield stuff up here, everything. The backing. And it should soak in within about a minute or so. All this stuff here is going to look great with this on it. Um, other than that, the one thing I didn't hit, it's going to look night and day, is that right there. You just got to be careful of that right there. And some of it's going to come off. It's just the cost of doing business. Okay, so this side will be soaked in pretty good. Make sure, and if you can remember to, not the biggest deal, start on the top. 
I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down, turn this off, talk to you in a minute. Okay, we scrubbed a bit. I'm back making another video, and it's drying out really fast today. Really fast, thank you. And what you can tell is, I'm gonna show you up close here real quick, in two areas. Area one, this. This should have came out a lot better. So you'll have to get it wet again, give it the scrubby scrub, and the rub-a-dub-dub, -dub and all that, and immediately, since it's drying so fast, get that water on it. Now I'm gonna show you the same thing up here. The grease dries on in an odd way, and you gotta keep it wet while you're doing the deed. And I'll show you an up close here again. Go ahead, just don't touch the black too much. Night and day, baby. Okay, we're gonna keep scrubbing on this. I'll put more in here in a second. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Hit that real quick. One side. Right here, look at that. You see the difference adjustment? It's just off a little bit. Okay, pop it, yeah. Got it. Okay, now I hope this has the same kind of, I can't remember to push that button, as your typical Chevy and all that. And I think it does, but I actually think this one is pushed through. And that's exactly why it's not holding. Um, I'm gonna have to call the Infinity dealer. Yeah, that should easily adjust up, but we're not gonna be able to get both sides. Um, interesting. Let's see what this does. Yeah, it had to be a little bit more, and it's still gonna stay down because that side is broken. And I could get that adjustment near perfect if I just had that little rubber stop. So just a really easy way for you to keep your maintenance and keep your panels in alignment. This car hasn't been smacked or screwed up or nothing like that. It's just that little rubber piece of broken, probably about $3 on eBay. Thanks for watching, we'll talk to you. And just make sure and get all this off before you start washing. Okay. Um, and then when you're, I'm going to show you one thing on power washing before I go. You have the other two tires and wheels to do on the other side. By the, about the time you're done washing this, I'll be about ready to go and leave. And I can start you off and you can do that one and then we'll kind of, I'll be back in about an hour and do that, etc. Okay. So you get that, that's whatever. Um, all that comes off. Any of these stickers, um, like I just took one off here a minute ago. And when I did it, you can see that. Right. While you're doing the other stuff, just make sure and get that as good as it can. And with these things, it's strong. The razor, I'm just gonna do the whole thing since I'm here, where you don't have to come back. The razors are strong, but watch out giving it too much pressure and break one or something oh, and cut yeah. yourself, whatever. And sometimes just flipping them over gives you a lot of different, I don't know how much you've done it, so I'm gonna give tips as I go. Um, so that's the deal on that. Get all that stuff off the other side of the wheels and tires before you do that. And we've done it to where now, reason I did the motor first, do you know why? Mm, um, because it's the most meticulous part. Greasiest, dirtiest, yuckiest part. Wheels, tires, and motor. So if we don't get that and we go ahead and wash the car, next thing you know I'm gonna be like, hey, let's get the motor done. And put grease all over the car we just washed. So getting that stuff first, that is the process. And like if we was putting this under manual, it's common sense stuff, but it's what you don't realize until after you do it. And then you're like, oh shit, now I gotta wash it again. Yeah. Um, so that's that. Um, on this, I wanted to show you one thing. One, I'll show you how to start this. It's kind of a pain. Just pull the trigger, turn it on, choke it. Should take one pull, might take more. If I got it off, I don't need to choke, what? Okay, the whole point of washing this thing 
is not just to wash it, but to find any problems and to save myself problems later. That line, that whole thing, problem. Big problem. All this, problem. Possible, possible, problem. Body lines. This right here, problem. Any of that, any of this, problem. Make sure and get this kind of shit off as you're going. Um, same thing with these things and around the windows. So I'll show you what I mean around this stuff, everything around this. Number one, I don't know if the fucking car leaks. I'm not trying to put water in there, but I do want to make sure that any dust... And just really quickly, but something to clean out any body lines. Like so. Right. And on this one, I'll tell you now, you gotta be careful. I wouldn't get any closer than that. Let me show you something. You see the waviness right here? Yeah. They've put it back on. They painted the truck and put new vinyl on it. So it's got tape under it. And it kinda, they might have used, they used really good quality tape, but not the best. Most likely. And look right here. They had just a little bit of dirt under there. So there's a bubble right there. It's not in the paint, it's just in this stuff. And they put new stuff on it, but if you look really close right here, see yeah, a little bubble? Over time, that's gonna cause a problem. What I would do if it was mine, is I'd poke little holes in it probably, rub all the air out, and then put some kind of, um, I might even clear coat the whole panel or something. The sealant? You know, to where it's all sealed in. But that's the worst thing on this, other than that, these things are online for 80 grand. I don't know, I'm not gonna ask nowhere near that, but I will probably ask 18.9.23.9 and see what we happen with. But, so that's the main thing on that. As you wash it, do that. And the other main thing is, you can't wash a car in the fucking direct sunlight. It's a pain in the ass, and it makes it a pain in the ass. Um, let's see how he's doing out here. That's looking good, huh? Yeah. That's a lot better. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I got some stuff we'll put on it for a final. We're gonna buff it so it doesn't really matter all that much. Yeah. All right. It'll take a buffing. Maybe some of that'll come out. That's washed, scrubbed. Okay. Pop the hood if you would. You're gonna have to wait in here. Okay, I'm gonna show you my motor stuff. Check this out. Okay, we've degreased the heck out of this thing. And you notice like all these fans, everything around the light surrounds, and all of this is the way it is. Now we're gonna actually do these lenses, likely this evening, um, and I'm gonna spray this thing down. The lens thing just changed my idea a little bit. I'll clip more in a second.